If I had to guess, I would say it, it maybe has something to do with the fact that although the issues were a bit exaggerated in terms of the issues that everyday kids confronted, no. but there were real people represented. Not everyone was uber foxy. Not everyone, you know. <laughs> well, it, uh, I resent that. I think I'm uber. <laughs> I think I am uber foxy. Yeah. Darren, I said not everyone okay. was. You were a given. <laughs> But, I mean, everyday kids were represented. Do you think that's why, Amanda? Yeah, definitely. Mm. Yeah. I, I think it's interesting. I mean, when we first were doing it, Beverly Hills 90210, that was sort of fashioned after Degrassi. Mm -hmm. And... Um, for real. It was for real. For real. For real. Okay. I mean, there was... I mean, I don't really know the whole backstory, and I don't know if all of us... I heard that they know, tried but, to buy the show. But they tried to buy the show for a certain yeah. amount of money, and Linda wanted to keep it in Canada and kids, mm -hmm. and... And, and yeah, yeah, and they, they wanted to keep it Canadian because they didn't want it glam. So then I guess Aaron said, okay. Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, we will get all of your questions answered. Our Degrassi reunion continues tomorrow. Don't go away. Hi, everybody. I'm Jonathan Torrens. Welcome to part two of our first ever two-part episode. Due to overwhelming audience response, Today we introduce the second part of our Degrassi reunion. And before we get to audience questions, let's take attendance. With us today, once again, Pat Mastriani, who played Joey, Jeremiah. Stefan Brogren, who played Snake. Amanda Steptoe, who played Spike. Cassie Keenan, who played Liz. Bill Parrott, who played Shane. Rebecca Haynes, who played Kathleen. <laughs> Kira Levy, who played Maya. Celia <laughs> Zazanese, who played Yick. <laughs> Nicole Stoffman, who played Stephanie. <laughs> Dio Ade, who played uh, BLT. <laughs> Darren Brown, who played Dwayne. <laughs> Michelle Goody, who played Miss Avery. <laughs> and Daniel Woods, who played Mr. Radich. That's all the time we have for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spent. Wow, that was a lot of names. Just to give you some insight into the popularity of uh, starting with the kids of Degrassi Street, then subsequently Degrassi Junior High, and then Degrassi High. Here in our audience today, ladies and gentlemen, two people who furnished travel for themselves at their own expense to come all the way from San Francisco. Put your hands up. Where are you? <laughs> there they are, right down here. Stand up, you two. What is your name? My name's Mary. Mary, your name? Dave. So Dave and Mary, you guys came all the way from San Francisco to uh, see this Degrassi reunion. What does the show mean to you? A lot. Because <laughs> <laughs> what people might not know is that it was seen on most PBS stations. Is that where you guys saw it? That's correct. We were living in Chicago, and it was on PBS from about the mid-'80s, which is when I started watching it. And uh, we continued to watch it throughout high school. And so were you guys, like, wishing you could move to Toronto because Degrassi was so cool? <laughs> Actually, we, we used to wish we went to school at Degrassi when we were both in high school. <laughs> you know, it wasn't real. <laughs> <laughs> so what would be, you guys get the honor of asking the first question to uh, all of our gathered friends. What would it be? Where's Wheels? Aww. Good question. <laughs> Which brings up a larger question. Uh, is anybody in touch with uh, Wheels? Neil? He was supposed no. to today. Yeah, to what would be your question? Well, I wonder, um, like, uh, w in the regular series, Snake was a pretty cool guy, but then in School's Out, what happened? <laughs> I, I don't remember him being a cool guy, actually. I was, I mean, I thought he was just like this, uh, this nice guy. You know, it's, like, it's a weird transition also. I, I figured that, like, when we, f you know, the characters are going to get laid, you know, in School's Out. That's what's going on. And I'm sorry, they're going to get what? Right. <laughs> and, and if you're not getting it, it's very easy to look like a geek compared to the other guys who are getting it. That could be part of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was the what? It was the suntan lotion on the nose, I think. That, you know, I, I was made up to be a total or geek. That. So, I mean, but like, I mean, the, the truth is I never looked at Snake as a cool guy at all. For me, Snake was the guy that, Joey was the cool guy, Wheels was the cool guy, I hung out with the cool guys, and, and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you guys, huge round of applause for our friends from San Francisco. <laughs> Hands in the air. Who has a question for the Degrassi folks? You stand up right here. Hi. Um, I'd like to know, 
Joey and Snake, did you guys actually play your famous song? Because a friend of mine and I covered it a while ago, and we'd like you to come and jam with us. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys actually play instruments like the Zimmerman? See, we can't actually play instruments, <laughs> but we played it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, okay, there's a, quite a long story, but I won't, I'll give you the abbreviated version of it. The chords were C, G, and D. Three chords, they taught us how to play them. Yeah. The lyrics were written by a 13-year-old boy who... Uh, you would never know. You would never know. <laughs> and um, basically, it, the, the gag was that that was the only song that they knew and could play. And on their album, it was the uh, Everybody Wants Something, the Everybody Wants Something extended mix, and <laughs> the extended, extended mix. Right. And, um, <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Wheels question does actually raise an interesting point. Obviously, 50 kids running around. Uh, you couldn't have stayed in touch. When was the last time a group of you this big, even, was in one room? Rebecca? Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Probably six or seven years ago. Maybe one of Pat's famous birthday parties <laughs> yeah, that he has every year around Christmas. Like that. Something like that. Party. Pat's Christmas party, birthday party, something. Who has another question? Show of hands. You do all the way over here. What would be your question? Snake, were you on a commercial for furnaces in a manhole? Yeah, I was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's an amazing thing is that I never thought anyone would even know who it was. <laughs> and and I, I guess if you're in the furnace, like, all the time now, it's amazing. It's like, half a second, it's really weird. Question or comment right here. Okay. This is for Pat. I was wondering if there's any money or convincing you um, in the episode where you had to streak through the cafeteria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, they said, um, we think that Joey would go to this extreme to, to get the car that he wanted to. And um, I had to go with it. I mean, I believed it. And it was funny, and it, it was a great way to start the season. And it's one of my most memorable moments of the show. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, w were you wearing anything other than the hat? Just, just the hat. And um, if, if I can plug my website real quick, there's a picture of it <laughs> on the website. And it's www.patmeup.com. Pat me up. <laughs> we'll take a break. More Degrassi reunion in a minute. Welcome back to our Degrassi reunion. Show of hands in the audience. Who has a question they would like to ask? You do over here. Please rise. What would your question be? Okay, this question is for Amanda. Um, with the hairstyle that you had back in the day, did people treat you any differently as opposed to, like, kids around that like time who had less extreme hairstyles? Yeah, well, it's pretty funny because nowadays, you know, blue hair and pink hair is a lot more normal, right? And piercings and stuff. But back in the early 80s, not so many had, uh, not so many people had any kind of extreme hairdos. And um, I used to get harassed a lot, especially by security guards and stuff like that. And, and were you Kmart ever just like, for the love of God, can I cut my hair? But people were <laughs> so used to seeing it. No, well, you were I totally mean, well, like later on in the show, yeah, I was yeah. getting pretty tired of it. But, uh, at the beginning, no one was allowed to touch my hair. Wow. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. That was your rule? That was my hair. Look at everybody else. See, looking back on it. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, who has another question? You do back here. What's your question? Um, I grew up watching the show. I was just a youngin', and I didn't really have friends of my own, so I considered you guys my friends. <laughs> and, uh, no, seriously, like, uh, I really love you guys, and Mr. Radich, uh, I really want you to be my dad. <laughs> Question or comment right here. Hi, this is for Stefan. Um, I was just curious to know where the name Snake came from. <laughs> <laughs> now, Stefan, behave yourself. <laughs> you, you know the funniest thing is? I mean, we used to go to public schools. Grade three kids were asking me that. And I felt, like, really creepy about it. Because a lot, I mean, obviously, there's this connotation. Like, oh, why is he called Snake? Why are you called Snake? You know, but but I, I, honestly, I couldn't tell you, except for the fact that I was tall and lanky. They gave me a choice. They said, Guy? <laughs> <laughs> the French Canadian. Okay, but, anyway, but uh, yeah, it was either, it was either uh, Snake or Slim. 
And I was like, oh, I'll go with snake. Yeah. Yeah.